All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Teamfight Manager. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we had four matches left before the end of the season, and I think we are going to jump right on into it without any waste of time. Uh, just a reminder, if you do want a member of the squad named after you, uh, just leave a comment uh, on this video or any of my other Teamfight Manager videos, and uh, when we have a new... Uh, squad member that doesn't have a nickname, uh, they will get nicknamed after you. Uh, we are going to jump into the match, though, against the Lazy Lighthouses. We are in first. They're in second. We really need this win. Like, we really, really need this win. We're in great condition. That's phenomenal. Um. Yeah, I really don't want to drop out of the finals. Okay, what do we do here? I'm gonna ban Taoist. They immediately ban Shrine Maiden. Um, I'm gonna hit Priestess. They got rid of Monk. Okay. Ogre. Immediate first pick, Ogre. Shield Bear. Interesting. That's... Unfortunate. I'm gonna definitely take Pyro. Knight. Okay. Ah. Interesting. You know what? Fighter Sniper. They went the melee death ball. Oh boy. Uh We got double stun on the front line. Ogre is so slow though. We got good damage. I'm hoping we win this. This could be really close. The fighter is just going to get melted here. The fact that Ogre survived is amazing. Ogre's already up to 13 stacks. He's doing good damage. He does go down. But between Sniper and Pyro, we are readily handling. And as, yeah, as soon as they get back to Ogre, he just, he makes them stop. Hey! Fighter actually kicked uh, Shield Bearer directly into the Pyro ult. So that is, is not bad at all. Um, that taunt is going to be problematic. Uh, that was a great Swordsman ult. But Ogre is still up, and that's all we really need to keep the kills rolling in. Ogre's not really gonna, like, reach there to make a difference. I only got one last kill. Ogre did pretty well. 7, 3, and 6. I was a little bit worried when they took, uh, Shield Bear and Magic Knight. Uh, as soon as they started doing that melee death ball, I was, I was concerned. I'm very glad that I picked Ogre away from that. That would have been a big problem. I think you pretty much carried a team. Concentrate on team play. This, this is not at any MOBA. It's, it's not about one person carrying the team. It's all about Team play. Teamwork, coordination. That's the number one thing in any 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 battle arena style game. Immediately hit priestess. We're gonna nix ogre. Monk. Uh let's get rid of Taoist. Knight. Okay. 
I'm, I'm just gonna lock Pyro Sniper again. They did, they went for Shield Bearer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab Fighter again. They grab Berserker. Light Mage. Ooh, ah. Uh... I'm gonna take Exorcist. It's not the ideal team comp to pick it against. It'll neutralize uh, Mage's Sun. It'll neutralize Warrior's uh, Knight's Taunt. Lightning at Mage's Stun, Knight's Taunt. Uh, it's not going to really do a whole lot against that ult, because that's just going to taunt everyone. Uh, Berserker doesn't really have any CC. Could be worse. He's very bulky, though. That's the thing. I'd love to hit Lightning Mage. Um, Lightning Mage is being a real pain in the ass right now. We got taunted in. Okay. Yeah, Pyro Mage got taunted in there by Knight. Uh, he's doing it again. Uh, it is real close. Not the greatest ult from Sniper. A decent fighter ult. Getting the pick there on their front line. Onto uh, Shield Bearer. No, not onto Shield Bearer. Was that on the Knight? Come on. Okay, that's a very good Pyromancer ult. Catching their whole team there. Oh, everyone but, you know, Lightning Mage, the one that needs to actually get caught. Uh, I have no kind of CC to deal with the Berserker ult, but we did live through it, which is kind of all I was really hoping to do. Uh, we did manage to hold out. We, we got a lead, and we held it. <laughs> that's all I could really ask for in that situation. But a nice 2-0 victory. We have good tiebreaker points, but we're only one game up from uh, Lazy Lighthouses now that we beat them. Pika Blues up the ladder. Pika Blues has won in a decisive match that moved it up to the number one position. Pika Blues won against Lazy Lighthouses and recorded, and has recorded uh, 11 wins. Four losses and 12 up tiebreaker. Uh, on the other hand, due to the day's loss, Lazy Lighthouses moved down to second place. No, they were already there. And has recorded 10 wins, 5 losses, and 5 up tiebreaker. Having won an important match, Pika Blues is likely to keep showing good results. Lazy Lighthouses will have to make up for this defeat by improving their performance and fighting till the very end. They are in second place. Uh, this article is trash. <laughs> That's a, that's a terrible article. If you're an esports reporter, that is not the article that you want to be like, yeah, I wrote that. That was all me. Okay, we're still in good condition. Let's let's carry it through. And the nice thing is, it is it's it's uh, Jimmy Jochef and King of Hyrule that are max condition they are kind of the the ideal max condition oh sniper's out huh all right all right all right exorcist all right um we're definitely gonna take pyro I'm gonna take Monk. Then what else do we want? You know what? Lightning Mage. And are they gonna grab Magic Knight? Are they gonna grab Shield there? Yeah, I'm gonna grab Knight. Uh they just have melee death ball again. Let's see if we can hold it. Well, we don't even really need to hold it. We just need to be able to kill them fast enough. And I think our double AoE mages are going to be able to handle this. Um, well, Monk did go down. That's unfortunate. But not wholly unexpected either. 
Oh, that magic knight all on top of the taunt. That was absolutely brutal. Uh, you know, the, py uh, the pyromancer all didn't do a whole lot, but it was a good uh, prevention from a, a hard push. If, if they had pushed in and actually killed our front line, that ult would have uh, chewed them up pretty good. I think though we we are dominating the neutral game. They pushed with alts. Uh, this is this is in the bag. Yeah, we are just starting to, to clean them up. Their their melee death ball cannot handle a decently tanky front line, even with just a monk heal and pyro lightning at all. Easy victory for the Pika Blues. I mean, you did good. It was a nice performance. But, stay humble. Remember, teamwork. Teamwork, boys. Okay. Immediate, immediate towers tip. They don't want Pyro. Okay, well, we'll hit Priestess. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright. Sniper. Are they just going melee death ball again? Melee death ball, but without a shield bearer. Jeez. Okay. That's a thing. Yeah, I apologize to Jang. Uh, I know he's he's skilled in lightning mage. I really need him on. Well. Hmm. No, I need him on the ogre. I need him on ogre. Let's do it. Yeah, fighter's gonna go down. Ogre's gonna get up into the front. So we are fine. Lightning mage getting taunted is annoying because now they all go down. Yep. I'd love for the stun to go down onto Berserker, but apparently that's too much to ask. But with them all being on the spawn point, they cannot camp us with Ogre. With Ogre here, there's no way for them to camp us. Lightning Mage just keeps getting taunted and pulled in, which is really unfortunate. I do not like that. I think we, we basically have this in the bag. Ogre's doing very, very well. Especially once it gets to like 20 stacks. It becomes a little bit of a monster. And it does that real quick. Uh, we have acquired the Taekwondo uniform. Uh, plus one, plus O oh on Jimmy, plus one, one, one on Magic Knight, one, one, one on Magic Knight, and one, one. Okay. Uh, Fighter Champion Mastery plus six. Okay. Oh, I'm getting all of these for getting wins with the champions. Uh, 
Ah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm still keeping the attack to Warrior Champion 2. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Alright, is there anything that would be worth getting here? Man, you know... Long run? I want to reduce the renewal fee of my, my players. It's going to save us 300 gold right now, but in the future that's going to be a lot more. And if, uh, if we're not fortunate enough to push through and win Division 1 on our first attempt, um, this will come in handy. I'm really scared of what D1 is going to look like. D2 is already, like, a legitimate fight. We're, we're doing well, but we're still 12 and 4. It's not like we're sweeping through with a flawless victory. Okay. Priestess. Get out of here. Ice Mage, okay. They did grab lightning. Uh... Yeah, Snipe Zerker. Alright, let's do it. Uh, the quick cast is gonna be kind of a waste, but that is okay. Yeah, Ice Mage is gonna be a real pain in the ass for Ogre to deal with. Um, but we are doing a pretty sizable chunk. The, the, the plus side, Ice Mage is only gonna be able to CC one of our frontline members. Either Berserker or Ogre. Can't do it to both. That was the worst possible pyromancer ult. A phenomenal berserker ult. They had a really good swordsman ult. Uh, they have the defense buff from the knight ult. Uh, I didn't even see the sniper ult or the lightning mage ult go down. It wasn't a very impactful ice mage ult. At Jesus, 25, 26. Can we get another one? No. 26 to 10. My god. Jeez. Um. Ha. Huh. Yeah. You know, match isn't over. Don't lose focus. Oh, you're happy with that. Okay. I don't understand why they were all so upset before when I was giving them constructive feedback. Uh, Pyro's out. Priestess is out. Ghost is out. Ogre's out. I, I can't let them take Ogre. They immediately took Taoist. Yup. Uh... Lightning Mage Sniper. We're gonna grab the damage. Monk is good. Monk isn't bad. I'm gonna grab Berserker. Okay. I'll grab Knight. That's fine. 
Uh, how do we want to spread this? I think that's fine, actually. Again, I know uh, Jank Gaming is really good on Lightning Mage, but I need that on uh, someone who's going to do the DPS. Uh, it's very, very useful in certain comps for him to be Lightning Mage, but he doesn't have the skill points. He's going to do just fine. We should have uh, more than enough tanking up front to deal with their front line. I don't know why Sniper is, like, diving headlong into the breach, but managed to get herself back and get stuff figured out there. Uh, I think Sniper's gonna just execute. Really? Didn't go after... Taoist Exorcist. I still get them mixed up. Didn't go after the stun. Yeah, well, it did with the ult. That's fine. Um, yeah, this is... I mean, that monk ult will keep them alive a little bit. That was a nice snipe. Very unfortunate. Um, we are destroying them. This is... It, like, they made a nice comeback at the end. My god. Yeah, no, just absolutely destroyed. Um, they did not have the damage to, to win that match. They had some good bulk, but that's only going to get so far. Coach Silent and Pika Blue sweeping victory. Pika Blue is on a great run under Coach Silent's management. Pika Blue has recorded five wins, zero losses in the last five matches. In the last match, Coach Silent has utilized his ban pick to form his team around Sniper as the main champion. There are concerns that other teams will be able to hold Sniper in check. It's called banning. But experts are adamant that Sniper, uh, Silent has a few more cards up uh, in his or her sleeves. Fans of Pika Blues have acknowledged Silent's abilities and have high expectations for his future brilliant performances. Yep. No, that's that's fairly accurate. And we're going to jump right into the King Kangaroos match. And I believe this is the, if I'm not miscounting and, and misremembering, this should be the last match of the regular season. I think we at this point have first place on lock. 13 and 4 with a 16 up tie break. Uh, George Epson, good condition. Perfect. That's what we need to see. Immediate hit to Ogre. Priestess. We're gonna nix out uh, Taoist. I don't like dealing with Taoist. Swordsman. Okay. Pyro Sniper. I mean, if they're not gonna ban Sniper, I'm just going to keep taking Sniper. Uh, Berserker. Okay. And Knight. And I do want the Taunt boosted. And that should be fine. Let's go. Yeah, Lightning Mage is going to be a pain, but yeah. We are pretty readily sweeping through their team. We absolutely have the advantage in the neutral game. Well, that was a nice swordsman ult. Got him into the back lines, which is really frustrating. And there is the counter push Berserker ult. Unfortunately, Lightning Mage did not go after Berserker, or that would have been a hard counter. Uh, not a super effective uh, Pyromancer ult, but not terrible. Uh, but just the damage that Pyromancer is going to do here is going to keep us in this game just fine. Just that AoE alone, though each tick is so big, let alone the auto attacks. Pyromancer is in dire need of a nerf. Also, 85 attack is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> yeah. 
match is not over. Do not lose focus. Come on, guys. With a clever pick or two, some good alt execution, they can easily turn around any match. We gotta stay focused until uh until we, we get to the end. I'm gonna keep hitting Tau if it, it's Okay, so they do not want a melee death ball rolling through. Uh but I will get Ogre. Okay, I have to take Pyro here. They countered and picked the Sniper. Alright. Um... Let's see. I would have liked... Knight. But... I think in this case, we're gonna grab Fighter for sure. And I'm actually gonna grab Magic Knight here. I think Magic Knight is gonna be the play. Because then we throw Fighter onto Berg, Ogre onto Jang. And then we have uh, King of Hyrule on Magic Knight. I think that's going to be the play here. And that Pierce ability should handle it. Well, we've already gotten two stack points. Four stack points. Ogre is already slowly becoming something of a problem. Uh, its first life is down. They do have some unfortunate ability to kind of handle it but if fighter kicks someone in oh it looks like they interrupted the fighter ult that's really unfortunate and not a very good pyromancer ult either jeez come on we are actually behind we really need to clean this up I need Ogre to attack. Jeez, the fact that Ogre is just, like, backtracking the push is killing it here. Ogre did not do what I wanted it to that game. That was thoroughly disappointing. All right. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. Be aggressive. Absolutely be aggressive. Okay, they took care of priestess for me. I'm gonna deal with Taoist. First pick lightning mage, pirate sniper. Sniper is just so strong with that extra attack speed right now. Um. Yeah, grab the Berserker. Yeah, frontline death ball. Okay. That's actually okay. Fighter. Fighter is the play. We should be a okay here. Especially with their focus on the front line. It's it's real close, but I feel like we have the advantage. Especially as long as Shield Bear can keep going down. Sniper, Pyromancer, they're just gonna be able to uh Oh, that was a vi Okay, we did get a alt off there. Um, a very unfortunate lightning mage alt there. Good sniper alt, kind of sweeping their full team. That taunt is not unexpected. Uh, it did stack with the magic knight, which, I mean, that is the right play. I can't 
fault them for that. They are winning. I don't... We have the better neutral game. We just need to clean up a couple more kills here. Okay. Wow. Um, they got a couple of last-minute kills there that almost cost me that match. I... I got lucky getting the kill, I'll uh, confirm, on the night. Uh, if, if I had not, uh, Pyromancer would have gotten smoked hard. My goodness. Lazy Lighthouse is fell all the way to fourth in the last few games. Oof. All right. That's unfortunate. They're going to have a uphill battle to get promoted. Uh, you're on the league top five. Yep, we are first place, so we are automatically in the finals. We are automatically getting promoted to D1. Perfect. We're going to keep him on the team until, until the finals are over. We are. Uh, no, we need to do some streaming. I need the money. Good. Nice success getting us a little bit extra. But I, I really, really need the extra money, to be fair. Okay, the Lazy Lighthouse has won their first match. I'm keeping my eyes on them. They were they were right behind me up into the last couple of matches there. Ugh. I'll probably succeed this one, right? No. <laughs> nice amount of money earned, though. Win again. All right. Pyromancer up one, 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 and just a one zero. Okay. Oh, is this uh, equipment? What are we going to get? Give me something good. Come on. This is not, not as good as plus six to Pyromancer. Sorry. Craft that out again. Nice success. Okay, perfect. Give me one more success before we are uh, into our final match. Okay. They did! The Lazy Lighthouses against... All odds falling down to fourth place, winning their way all the way through to the finals against the Pika Blues for one last grudge match. You love to see it. But next episode, we are going to be playing the finals match, and I think they're little Cinderella story uh, push is going to end with us. But folks, if you are enjoying the series, please do consider leaving a like on the video. Consider subscribing. It's free. You can unsubscribe whenever you want to. And I am a small channel. I'm trying to grow, so it helps me out a lot. If you want to have a member of the squad named after you, I'll leave a comment on this video or any of my other Team Fight Manager videos. Uh, and as soon as we hire a new uh, member of the team, they will get nicknamed after you. But folks, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.